Raggedy sits in the midst of the keep, donate cell piles, in the living room playing with a couple of small figures. No, we have to keep that one. Why? Why not? It'll make a great tower. Anne won't care that they don't match. We need as many new towers and fortresses set up, so when she gets back, shoot! They're already back! Headlights sweep across the front of the house. Raggedy dives out of sight as Emma storms inside, Anne rushing to catch her. Emma, wait! Just slow down! We need to talk about this! I'm tired. We're not done here. Nothing's decided. You practically threw Andrew out of the car. If you can just avoid unpleasant situations, then so can I. What's that supposed to mean? We can't talk about anything when I need to because you're thousands of miles away and too busy writing and losing your job. But now, I'm here. Now. I was there at the restaurant. I brought you more help with the will. Andrew. He knows what he's talking about. Like hell he does. He still loves like little puppy fault dog following you around. We move past that. There's no way this will is ironclad. It can't be. Irene wouldn't spend that kind of money on anything. She didn't hate us. She didn't hate me that much. Ah! This whole place is a mess. I swear it's getting worse. I'll help clean it up and then. Ah! What do you want to say? Still hidden, Raggedy picks up the dolls. She plays with them, mimicking the fight. Just give me the house. I I'm trying. Can you see that I'm trying? Yes, and I'd be better off doing it all by myself, like before. You said you were tired of doing it all on your own. All those voicemails you left crying that I'd abandon you to take care of her alone? Well, I'm here now. I changed my mind. Fine. Great. Guess I did fly down here for nothing. Anne turns to leave but spots Raggedy with the dolls. Oh no. What? You changed your mind? Money for a return flight? I'll spot you. I can't leave you here alone, Emma. Why not? Uh, it's hard to explain. It just doesn't feel right. It, it doesn't feel safe. She wanted us to do this together. Don't read some happy moral into this. She wanted me out. I did everything she taught us. Went to a good school, got a good job, found an upstanding young man to spend my life with. Worked my ass off to be ready to bring a real family into this house and play with all her damn toys. You're nowhere near that. No. Then why does none of it matter? Why does she want that from you or nothing? She doesn't. Emma, that's not... I hate you. Anne watches as Raggedy brings the Anne doll up to crash into the Emma doll. No. The dolls whack together and Emma crumples to the ground. Emma! Anne rushes to help Emma up. Emma clutches her stomach but pushes Anne away. I'm sorry, I... Anne, or Emma runs out of the room. She slams the bathroom door. Are you okay, Emma? Should I call 911 or Jose or... I'm fine. Anne grabs the dolls out of Raggedy's hands. Why did you do that? I was just playing. Just setting up the game. See, this is the kingdom and here are the players. You can't play like that. Like what? I'll put them back, all back in the boxes. I'll stay up all night if I have to. You can't do that. I'll flush them down the toilet. I'll break them into a million pieces. Burn them to ashes. Don't! No, please, I won't do it again. I promise. Just give them back. No. That's not fair. They are mine. They are ours, not just yours. We rule together. You can't do that to other people. But the story setup has to start with you and me. See, here... The bathroom door creaks open. Anne pushes Raggedy back behind the piles. Emma? You, you look really pale. I'll go, Jose, and we'll... Emma shakes her head and gathers her purse and coat. Well, if you just let me explain, I can help. I'm not making things worse on purpose. I didn't ask her to give me this. Emma nods and continues toward the door. You can't just leave, Emma! She exits. Out outside, her car starts and pulls away. Anne tries to dial her on her phone, but it blares with a dial tone. Raggedy? Can I have the dolls back? Anne heads toward the landline in the kitchen. Raggedy blocks her way. Look! There they are. Two only pieces missing. There are fortresses and secret caves, not just the treasure hunt anymore. It's even better with everything out like this. No, it's not. But now it's finally just you and me. We got rid of butt-faced Emma and scaredy pants and No, we didn't. You did. I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm done with it. I'm done with all of them. If you're not gonna play with them, give them back. How does it work like that, right? Give me! Anne falls backwards over the piles that aunt, of, of Aunt Irene's stuff, pushed by an invisible force coming from Raggedy. Ah! Anne shrieks, or shrinks from Raggedy. I'm okay. Don't touch me. I'm just trying to help. No, you weren't. It was an accident. 
spin. I told you before, this is not how we play. Because you won't even look at the setup I made for us. If you don't learn how to ask nicely and wait patiently and compromise. I didn't, I didn't mean to hurt you. But you did. Until you learn how to play by new rules, I don't care how much of a setup you make. I'm not going back to play with you. She exits through the front door. Raggedy drops down in the middle of the piles. I didn't mean to.